Hello everybody! A little while back I was contacted by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Protitus. He sent me a message um, explaining how he was really into reproduction games and how he makes reproduction carts for the NES. Um, and I really didn't know much about it at all. I know what a reproduction game is. Um, for anyone that doesn't, it's basically uh, something that wasn't released, say, like, I'll, I'll just use North America as a reference, something that wasn't released in North America, a game like that just came out in Japan, um, it's when someone then makes a version for North America. Um, like on the NES, it would be putting that game onto one of our uh, Nintendo cartridges. Um, so, I watched some of his videos, uh, I saw how he did, did it, which is incredibly uh, complicated. There's no way I would be able to <laughs> make my own reproduction carts, but um, I'm a collector of, like, you know, officially, you know, released games. Um, I really don't collect, you know, bootlegs or uh, multi-carts or anything like that, but I was interested because the stuff he does, uh, some of his games are more like little pieces of art than just a reproduction game. Um, and he asked if I would be interested in checking a few out, and uh, he has a, a, a multiple, you know, different ones that he makes. Um, and I picked two different ones. I picked Sweet Home, which um, came out, I think, in 1989 in Japan. And if you can see this cart, he uh, painted it basically with, like, blood splatter. And that bright neon orange uh, made his own little label for it. So he literally basically makes, you know, 100% uh, his own unique game here. Um, and then... Uh, also, Earthbound Zero, um, same deal, you know, painted cartridge, <clears throat> custom label, and um, this is uh, Mother One um, in Japan. Basically, uh, they're both RPGs. This one I was really interested in because I had heard about Sweet Home, but obviously I've never played it. Um, and I checked out some videos, and it seemed like right up my alley. It's a role-playing game, but with heavy... Um, horror and blood and gore uh, influences in it. In fact, on the label it says, warning this game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore right there. Um, and then this is the first, you know, mother game, so I'm a fan of Earthbound, and I've never played this either, so I wanted to check that out as well. Um, he sells these um, through eBay, I believe. Like I said, he makes them completely. Um, I will put a link, obviously, down below uh, in my, you know, video description of this video to his channel. Um, he's been uh, partnering up with a bunch of different people recently, like going to visit um, some other YouTubers, uh, and uh, I, I don't know if he's going to post videos of those visits and stuff himself, but um, he has been in other people's videos as guests now. Um, so, what I want to do is I'm going to pop both of these in and give them a try. Obviously not do like a full walkthrough or playthrough, but just kind of show you what, you know, these two games are. And if you guys are interested, you know, definitely go check out his channel. So let's move to the living room where the nice old big-ass TV is. All right, I got everything hooked up to my giant-ass Trinitron TV. This thing weighs like half a ton. And we're going to play uh, Sweet Home first. All right, here we go. Sweet Home, not Sweet Home Alabama, but Sweet Home, the Capcom horror RPG. <clears throat> I'm going to create a name. Oh, give me a second, guys. I went old school and picked a name that my, like, 12-year-old self would have picked. Good old Boobs. I didn't realize you have to make a different name for each character, so I have Boobs Twice, Stink with two Ks, Shit, and Poop. Those are my characters' names. So here we go. An investigation team searches for Mahia Icharu's something, but it lies within the haunted Mamiya Manor. I know that is not how that's pronounced, but I'm just going with it. <clears throat> we got a group of sprites entering a, ca uh, a mansion. It's like Resident Evil. Kind of like Resident Evil and Zelda had a baby almost right now. Shit! Good, we're all here. Somewhere in this mansion is Mayumiya's fresco. What? Um, what the? Poop says what? And shit's all shaking. Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh the cave in Can't leave now. The exit! Shit! And then there's a ghost. I turned off the overhead light so there's less glare on the TV. Right now I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of this first room. I can a menu pops up, I can talk to the people, and go to the team. Should we team up? Yes, good idea. Oh, okay, and I can have the dude follow me around. 
That's kind of cool. Um, look. Sharp glasses everywhere. There's a little sparkly glass up top. So now I just need to figure out how to get, help, get the hell out of this goddamn room. So that's cool. You can switch back and forth between the different party members, and they each have their own, you know, like, tools. Well, he has a vacuum cleaner, and, uh, oh, sh sorry, shit has a vacuum cleaner, and it says, I don't know what hap what's happening, but let's stick together. I just vacuumed up, um, with his vacuum, the glass that was blocking me from the exit. It's a very odd sounding vacuum cleaner. And now, we can leave. So I'm in a room now that has like a bunch of different items on tables, and there's a note over here, a candle on that table. And I know one of my characters has a lighter, so let's see if I can light the candle. Use lighter. But nothing happened. Okay. I thought that was going to work. But um, I want to say that I remember reading something a long time ago that uh, Sweet Home was like an influence on Resident Evil a little bit. Um, because obviously, I mean, they're both Capcom games, so that would make sense. But I don't remember 100% sure. I could be totally wrong. But it would make sense in the sense that uh, there are, you know, puzzles and items and little things to, you know, discover and find out. I don't think I'm going to be picking up a shotgun anytime soon. But who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll blow a few zombies' heads off. I just started the game. I believe I can only have three party members chained together at a time. Right now I only have two, but when I had three it wouldn't let me put four on. Um, but I think I figured out that this is a fresco that they're talking about, and this uh, stink has a camera. Use, use camera, I took a photo, said, but nothing happened. Well, that ain't fair. Aha, I had to actually look at the fresco, and now I can choose item and camera. Use camera, letters appear. Well, that's cool. So the flash made letters appear on the uh, fresco. My three frescoes will solve a puzzle. So obviously you can see it's a very puzzle-heavy game. Um, have to use the different characters to do each little part of the puzzle. So I can see this being pretty challenging and a lot of fun. Um, the music's kind of catchy. I'm going to stop playing it right now so we can check out Mother. But I am really looking forward to actually delving into this game and playing it um, quite a bit. All right, here is Earthbound Zero, or e Earthbound Easy, as it says on the title screen, or Mother One, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead. He looks like he already had played uh, a file, but let's start a new one. I got my lineup of characters named uh, Shitty, Tits, Nerd, and Dickhead, and they asked my favorite food. I couldn't fit Chicken Cordon Bleu on there, so I had to go with pizza. It's not really my favorite food, but whatever. I'm in my really cream-colored bedroom. That's where the game starts out. Um, hey, I can talk to my bed. Who are you talking to? Who am I? Wait, who, who's who talking to? Am I asking myself who am I talking to? Oh my god. The lamp just started moving around, and I think the lamp just rammed into my ass. Lamp draws near. Fight the fucking lamp. Lamp's attack. Shitty suffered damage of one. Shitty's attack. Lamp suffered damage of two. Uh, let's see, I want to use my Psy, my Psychic Abilities. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, do I have any goods? Cash card. Oh, I can't, I can't bribe the, the lamp into leaving me alone. Fight it again. Oh, one damage. I attack back. I, three damage to it. Oh my god, this lamp is strong. Alright, I beat the friggin' lamp. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Can I leave my... Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Was well, my bed or my pillow going to attack me now? I want to leave my house. Ah! Oh, my God. Uh, something's going to happen down here. Hey, there's a hot chick. Uh, navigate the furniture. Talk. <clears throat> Shitty, are you all right? Egad. Who the hell says Egad? What is happening to our house? I wish your dad were here now. Telephone ringing. Oh, I've got to go answer it. In a, like, 10-second phone conversation with my dad, that's who was on the phone, um, he basically explained to me, oh, he thinks it's a poltergeist in the house. Um, my grandpa had psychic abilities. There's something in the basement that would help you with it. I don't know where the key is. Use your psychic powers. Make sure to check in on the family and call me on the phone. I'll save your progress. All that information in, like, 10 seconds. I'm on the hunt for the basement key now. Uh, I think this is my little sister. 
and her baby doll is vibrating. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to fight the baby doll. I don't see the key in here. Uh, can I talk to the dresser? <laughs> no. No problem with the dresser. It's all good. Whose room's this? Ah, oh, another goddamn lamp. I don't want to fight another... Ah! Don't fight me. There's another girl. Brother, I'm so scared. The lamp seems to be alive. I know, bitch. I just got attacked by one myself. Uh, check. No problem. Okay, where's this goddamn key? Oh, the lamp! Another victorious lamp battle. Goddamn light bulbs have nothing against my... I don't even know what I'm using. My, my little child fists? I don't know. I accidentally ran into the uh, weird naked bug-eyed doll. Let's see uh, how hard this is. <clears throat> doll suffered damage of two. Dolls attack. Uh, yeah, same as the lamp. Apparently dolls and lamps have the same attack powers. Shitty has now advanced to the next level after uh, whipping that doll's ass. Level two, speed has increased by three. Wisdom. I learned so much from those amazing battles. Force has increased. My maximum HP, my maximum PP. I can pee a lot farther now, guys. This little guy, little boy. Oh, wait, the doll's sitting on the dresser now. Inside the doll, Shitty spotted an old music box. As the music box was wound up, a melody began to play. And we all were on acid for like five seconds, I guess. His mom moved away from the door, so I was able to go outside. And the first thing I went to do was check the dog and the fucking basement keys on the dog, dog's collar. So that was kind of lucky. And I think I'm going to uh, grab that. Run back inside real quick. And let's go see what's down in the basement. And then I think, oh, the door's locked, yeah. Uh, where's my check? No. Where's my items or whatever? Good, there we go. Basement key. Use. Shitty unlock the basement door. Oh my god, it's dark down here. And there's presents! Apparently all of our Christmas presents are in the basement. What the hell's going, uh-oh. Something bad's happened. Oh, rat! Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the game right here. Like I said, I didn't want to do a Let's Play video or anything. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a taste on uh, how these games played. Now, I learned a lot about how these are made. You can't just take any NES cartridge and make a reproduction out of it. Um, depending on what game you want to reproduce, you have to find a cart that has the right components inside um, for it to work on. Um, so there's a lot of th stuff that goes into making these, and then on top of that, you know, to make them look kind of cool and the extra, you know, blood splatter on um, Sweet Home, you know, just the little effects uh, really add to it. So, like I said, look in the description down below um, for Protitus's uh, YouTube channel, and if you're interested, shoot him a message. And I really think these are pretty damn cool, and I can't wait to especially get back and play more Sweet Home, and I'll probably update you guys and let you know how I liked it. So. I will talk to you all later. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace.